I like to read, that's basically my life. Love books. I love to talk a lot. I love to babysit, I love kids, and I like music a lot. We found out we were pregnant with the fourth child, and in about March of that year, we received an adverse prenatal diagnosis of trisomy 13. Our girls, our other three girls named her Johanna Grace, which came from a scripture reference, by the grace of God, I am who I am. I was not created in vain. She was born September 4th, 2006, and lived about 35 minutes with all of her family surrounding her. The thing that I really worried about was how to deal with my other three girls and what they were going through and the grief that they would experience. It was amazing. After school started, a flyer came home and there was a program available called Hospice Youth Journeys. I had never heard of it before. It just kind of got dropped in our lap. And I brought it up to the girls and they, they said no. <laughs> We went anyway, and I walked in really uncomfortable, and there was pizza. And I was like, okay, this might be good after all. And so we got into our little groups and started talking, and the first time we just talked to the other kids and understood like what it was that each of us was going through at the time. And it turns out I had never met other kids who felt like I did because no one at school had ever experienced these things. So then the next day we got back together and did a whole bunch of fun things. We had more really awesome food and we made pillowcases. Um, I made a happy side, you know, for all the good things in life and so I can remember my sister. And an angry side for me to punch and get mad at whenever I'm mad about her death and I still sleep on it every night, and I can remember her better that way. That really helped me a lot. To know that our children were meeting other children who felt the same way, that was really, I think, a key thing in them getting over a hurdle of their grief, was knowing that they were not alone. One night after like a really emotional campfire, we had been at at camp, um, a girl from my cabin was walking ahead of me on the path all by herself and she was just bawling. So I went up to her, put my arm around her and I was like, are you okay? And she said, no, it, you know what, you just, you wouldn't understand. I'm just mad about my dad's death. And I'm like, you know what, I think I would understand, seriously. So I talked to her and I used a lot of the same things that the counselors and the kids in my group had done at hospice. And at the end of the night, the girl, she seemed a lot happier. She wasn't as mad all the time. And I think I really helped her deal with her grief, and it helped me too. My name is Sarah, and through the Hospice Youth Journeys program, I'm able to better deal with my grief and help others with their grief. That's how I live united.